provision has to be made for the protection of persons and property in the event of hostile air attack. This is a new section of national defense and is purely civilian. As a munitions center, Birmingham is a special area and there is every likelihood that if war broke out, it would be one of the first parts of the country to be attacked. of British children is going on smoothly and efficiently. The Ministry of Health says that great progress has been made with the first part of the government's arrangements. Railways, road transport organizations, the local authorities and teachers are all playing their parts splendidly. Moonlight become you It goes with your hand, you certainly know the right thing to wear. Moonlight becomes you. I'm thrilled at the sight, and I could get so romantic tonight. The government have made plans under which it will be possible to carry on the work of the nation in the days of stress and strain that may be ahead. But these plans need your help. You may be taking your part in the fighting services or as a volunteer in one of the branches of civil defense. If so, you will report for duty in accordance with the instructions you receive. You may be engaged in work essential to the prosecution of war or the maintenance of the life of the people, in factories, in transport, in public utility concerns, or in the supply of other necessaries of life. If so, it is of vital importance that you should carry on with your jobs. For it is evil things that we shall be fighting against. Brute force, bad faith, injustice, oppression and persecution. This is the most magnificent sight of a generation. This is the army under its magnificent leaders. They have come back from a terrible and bitter battle, but still in their tired and half-closed eyes is mirrored the spirit and cause for which they fight. That has not gone. That can never be taken away from them. I don't want to alarm you too, ladies, but I must tell you the country has been invaded. The enemy have already bombed Langthorpe Aerodrome. I was on my way there, but I got lost. I wonder if one of you would be good enough to put me on the right road. Why, of course. I have your map. An ordnance map, for instance. Oh, uh, I think I could put my hand on one, but owing to the defence regulations, we keep it under lock and key. Thank you very much. Once I can find my way to Yarvis Cross, I shall be all right. Where did you say, Lieutenant? Yarvis Cross? Yes, that's the place. Yarvis Cross. You mean Jarvis Cross. Put your hands up. Go on. Carrie, what are you doing? Yes, go to the police station. Tell them we have a German spy here. Be clear and concise. Hear those marching feet down our village street. It's the home guard going on parade. Every mother's son shouldering a gun out to show the stuff from which we're made. We're all set to win. Now I'll tell you all about the mob that I am in. When the lads of the village get cracking down the road to victory. When the lads of the village get cracking and the whole platoon turns out. Off we go, rain or snow, just like proper soldiers all in a row. Now I never could learn to write or left turn and the sergeant swore at me. Right about turn there, I did it so fast. The sergeant said, oh blimey, right about something at last. When the lads of the village get back in, down the road to victory.
my body pinches me butter. They won't leave me butter alone. Nothing is better than butter for keeping the old man at home. Everybody says I'm old fashioned for keeping the things that are rationed. You can handle me hand and me plum and apple jam, but please leave me butter alone. like standing in a queue for your vegetables, or do you think it's tiring and a waste of valuable time? Do you ever find your long wait has been useless, but supplies of what you want have run out before your turn comes? It's not the greengrocer's fault, it's up to you. Dig, 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 fill your muscles getting big. Keep on pushing in the spine. The parsnips, beetroots, radishes and onions cannot sprout without your aid. Don't be a lot of mugs, never mind the bugs. And when you're back, I laugh with glee. And keep on digging till we give our foes a wiggy. Dig, dig, dig to victory. Don't give up and disappear because you find a new wig is worth it, don't you see? Are you helping to win the war on the kitchen front? If you are growing vegetables on every bit of ground that you can get hold of, if you are only eating what you need and not what you'd like and as much as you'd like, then you are helping to win the war. Perhaps we can help you. And who may you be? Your old clothes, put away and forgotten. Use us now, for instance. I could make a smart costume for the young lady. And we'll join forces and make John a new sweater. Three boy shirts out of us. Oh, why not get together with your friends and form a make, do and mend group? Then you can all help each other. If you're careless with your clothes, you're robbing a soldier of his coat, a pilot of his helmet. Let these machines operate full-time on essential work. Worth it, isn't it? I wonder if the public really understand what the war has meant to Birmingham. For the first time, we find ourselves in the firing line. And naturally, our thoughts go out to our children first. Thousands have been evacuated to the country districts, but we must not forget them. We must take care to see that those who are ill-clad receive the necessary garments. We must take care too that at Christmas time, proper parties are organized for them. Then again, there is the ever-present possibility of air raids. This wicked man, the repository and embodiment of many forms of soul-destroying hatreds, this monstrous product of former wrongs and shame, has now resolved to try to break our famous island race by a process of indiscriminate slaughter and destruction. What he has done is to kindle a fire in British hearts here and all over the world which will glow long after all traces of the conflagrations he has caused have been removed. He has lighted a fire which will burn with a steady and consuming flame until the last vestiges of Nazi tyranny have been burnt out of Europe and until the old world and the new can join hands to rebuild the temple of man's freedom and man's honor. The Ministry of Health I want to remind you about how very important it is that all water shall be boiled before being used in Coventry. Secondly, will you please make quite
quite certain that you don't use any WCs or drains that are not working. All through that night, the, the clock serenely struck the hours. And many people far and wide thought that the cathedral was all right. But there, there it is. That night, the city burnt. And the mother church of the city burnt with her. Can't you have a feeling that's a sort of emblem of the eternal truth that when men suffer, God suffers with them? And yet the tower and the fire still stand, soaring to the sky, and I feel that's an emblem of the eternal majesty and love of God. It was the spirit of our forefathers that built that grand building. I believe that that spirit is with us still and will help us to, to rebuild it one day when we served and suffered a while, a little longer. Night raids over Britain have lately increased. A few score aircraft coming over by way of reply to the Royal Air Force hundreds that have been blasting Germany. Birmingham has been one of the enemy's targets. Damage was done and lives lost. The same is true of other places in the Midlands and also in the eastern counties. And although Germany's reply to our bombing has not yet been on the 1940-1941 scale, we should certainly allow for the return of the still heavier blitz. If it doesn't come, nothing is lost. If it does, we shall be ready to beat it again. When Britain is in danger, when trouble's in the air, we all forget our squabbles, it's trespassers beware. The nation is united when danger looms in sight. We march along together and sing with all our might. We must all stick together. All stick together and the clouds will soon roll by. We must all stick together, all stick together, never mind the old school tie. United we shall stand, whatever may befall, the richest in the land, the poorest of us all. We must all stick together, birds of a feather and the clouds will soon roll by. I'd like to help to build Spitfires. My boy's in the RAF, well, and I feel I'm helping him. There's no need to take cover when you hear these engines sound. British planes are in the sky, ways on their daily vigil bound. We'll make one of their number, write our name upon the wing. When the planes are flying over, you will hear all Britain sing. There's music in the sky, don't you hear the engines humming? Prepare to do or die. tanks. We want very many tanks. We want them for the defense of our island and also for offensive operations. Shout and praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition and we'll all stay free. Lord and swing into position, can't afford to be a politician. Praise the Lord, we're all between perdition and the deep blue sea. If we are put to the trial by fire, we think we can demonstrate that the workers in the aircraft industry will not fail you. At our post we will stay, at our duty we will stand, at our benches 
we will meet and defeat the enemy who dares to drive liberty from the land of freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, workers' playtime. I'm a guy who's never going to roam again once I'm in the old hometown. By and by, I'll see my little home again. Then I'm going to settle down. Round the back of the hotel. Just some excellent news which has come during the past hour. It says... The Axis forces in the Western Desert, after 12 days and nights of ceaseless attacks by our land and air forces, are now in full retreat. Thanks to our bomber crews, the Nazis have been getting more of their own medicine than they can take. else but war, this day must have seemed like an entry into Never Never Land. It was one of the most memorable nights of my life. These will be historic pictures. They will tell another generation how we celebrated victory in Europe Day 